All right, here is the superstructure for um, my new uh, CNC mill. This is the part that's going to mount up on top of the uh, x-axis, which is already constructed over here. And I've already uh, shot some video and uh, still photos of it going together. This part is going to mount up on top of that. And it has some more drawer slides in here behind this piece of wood right here. So this goes back and forth and I get about two feet of travel out of it. And you can see the uh, ends of the drawer slide sticking out over here. And uh, the z-axis that's going to go up and down and hold the router is going to mount on onto here. I actually already have some holes drilled for it. So um, it's coming along pretty good. It's it's kind of an odd design, I have to admit. Um, it's going to look strange. My brother's going to make fun of it when he sees it. He says, I can't build anything without including wood in it. Well, this whole thing's going to be made out of wood. Um, the motor for the Y-axis is going to get mounted here. The uh, lead screw is going to go across. Um, there going to be bearings on either end. This, uh, this support piece right here is going to have a big hole cut in it so that the nut can go through and that way I can get a full two feet of travel out of it. If it only went to to this point right here I wouldn't get a full two feet of travel out of the uh, y-axis so I have to extend it a little bit on this side. So I haven't cut the hole in here yet for the nut. And I still need to mount the bearings and the motor. So I have another motor right here ready to be mounted. It's the exact same motor as what I'm using over here on the uh, x-axis so that makes everything easy. Wired up the same way, set up the controller the same way. I'll get the exact number of, uh, of counts per inch on X and Y. It's going to make the math easy. So, so I still got a lot of work to do, but I wanted to show you um, progress so far on the superstructure, the Y axis, and um, how it's coming along and I should get really close to two feet of travel out of it. It'll probably be about 23 and a half inches, maybe a little less, because I don't want it to run, you know, to the end and hit the stops on the uh, hinges and bind up the, the drive system, so I'll put the limit switches to stop it just maybe a quarter of an inch before it hits the, uh, the bump stops there at either end, just so I don't bind up the system. So it's coming along. Um, I'll show you uh, some more uh, some more of it once it's uh, a little further along and up and running. It's got some got some more work to do. Anyway, it's coming along though. It's all slowly coming together. More later.